Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ryan's Travels. My name is Ryan. Today, we're going to be talking about tipping. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers had sent me a message in one of my previous videos and said, you know, what do you tip uh, when in Thailand? So I'm going to cover that. Uh, but first of all, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'm going to take a second and let you do it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you go, uh, going ahead and doing that. So today, talking about tipping, let me first start off by saying I'm from the United States originally, so I don't have any knowledge of what people do. I do, you know, in Europe and whatever else, but that's not where I come from. My rule of tipping when in the United States is I normally tip 20% unless they do something really bad that makes me start taking off, taking off 15, 10%. I don't think I've ever not left a tip in my life unless I've been like really angry, like they messed my order up, they were rude, blah, 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 whatever. I don't like to make it so much of a grade card. But actually first, I don't know if you know how tipping started. The word tip is actually an acronym, which stands for to ensure proper service. And a lot of people don't know this, but back in the day, way back, I think this originated back in England, I could be wrong. But what they used to do is when they would get the taxi or the, uh, the horse and uh, buggy carriages, they would actually give the tip or the money to the driver up front to ensure proper service, to make sure that they got wherever they were going. And yes, I learned this in like, I think eighth grade back from my teacher, uh, Mr. Overbeck, if you're watching this, thank you, buddy. But uh, it's interesting thing about tips. Now, going back to this, when I tip out in Thailand and in, in Europe, and, or I'm sorry, in Asia in general, some places actually will think of, uh, not only is it not customary, but actually as an insult. So you have to kind of watch where you're at. But in Thailand specifically, you know, this is uh, whether you're Bangkok or Pattaya or Chiang Mai, or, you know, when I'm by myself and I'm, I'm going, I usually will just leave the change. What that means is, if my bill comes out to denominations are basically got like, you know, 20 baht, 50 baht, 100 baht, 500 baht, 1000 baht, those are basically denominations. So if I'm close to having enough to just leave some change, if it's 175 baht or 180 baht for a bill, I'll, I'll give them 200 baht and, and leave the 20. Like I'll do about 20% sometimes. I don't really think about it. But I mean, on a massive bill, just it's just not always, they don't expect it, but also you don't want to do or be what they call a cheap Charlie. So uh, namely for uh, you guys out there, if you're taking a date out, what I usually do is uh, when I'm with my girlfriend out here, I'll actually ask her how much should I tip or how much should I leave? And she'll just like leave it and go real quick. And guys and everybody that comes out here, just think about it this way, okay? Where you're coming from, the dollar or the pound or the euro is so much stronger than coming to Thailand. We're talking like pennies here. Like it's not that big of a deal difference of whether you leave you know, 20 baht or 30 baht, right? I mean, we're not going to try to be big tippers and all that. And this isn't like, you know, America where everybody expects it and they, you know, want to talk to you and say hello and then put a tip jar out there and expect to get paid a million dollars. It's not like that. I just kind of round up whatever it is, right? That's kind of, you know, if they bring change back, I do it. If you don't leave a tip, you know, it depends on what the service level is. If someone's coming to the table, they're taking my order, they're bringing the stuff out, the order's right, I'm going to tip them. I'm not going to be a cheap, you know, person, right? And I never am like, I don't, when I'm cutting corners, it's not by not paying the service staff of people around me, right? It's just not, that's not how I cut corners. If I'm going to be really cheap about it, you know, if I'm going to go out for a beer, well, I don't drink, but if I go out for a drink, you know, a Schwepp as they call it, you know, Schwepp Manau, Schwepp Lime, Lemon. If I go to a bar and my friends are drinking and, you know, it comes out to 300, you know, 400 baht or whatever it is, I might leave them 50, 60 baht. I mean, there's no exact science to it. But it's better to leave something than nothing. And just don't be cheap, right? I mean, the same bars I go to all the time, my friend owns a bar here in Pattaya, Voodoo, right? And I only drink water because I'm an athlete and I just don't drink alcohol, to be quite honest with you. My mom is a recovering alcoholic. I grew up going to AA meetings. So drinking for me is just not something I'm interested in doing. But they charge you the same or more for the bottled water in a bar because they know what the rule is, right? Or, or, or the game per se. But if it's like 50 baht, right? And, you know, I have two drinks or, you know, two, two bottles of water and it's like a hundred baht or whatever it is. I'm going to probably leave them 50 baht or 10 baht or 20. I'm going to leave them something like it's shitty. They still have to walk and get the drink the right way. They still come to you. They're still very nice to you. And I see them every day. So if I give them, you know, again, a hundred baht is like just under $3, I think. Like if you give them a dollar or you give them, like, does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? Right? A price of gas, I think in America is like what, $5 or whatever astronomical amount is. So, you know, tipping again, I just, I just leave something for the people. I don't over tip. It'll never be more than 20%. Let me put that 
top part there. Never be more than 20%. Because if I don't do it in America, I'm not going to do it here. But I, I, I'll leave the change. I kind of make that decision there. You know what I mean? That's right. But if you guys have any questions about tipping or any other questions or things that you want me to talk about on the video and what you should expect when you come here or what you'd like to know when you come here, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. Again, no more than 20%, but don't not leave anything. Leave something all the time. Just make it part of your character, right? They're going to judge you more than you're going to judge them. Just don't, don't be a cheap Charlie, pretty much, right? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Also, if there's a particular topic you'd like me to tackle and discuss on here, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section. Have a great day.